Yeah, yeah, that's that money talk. That's that money talk. Got a lot of fans, a lot of haters. We just let them talk. Cause they'll never face us to the paper. What you talking about? The earth will really shake it with this craters that we throwing out, yeah. So, no, you got titty freedom. Block his number. What is up you guys, it's your boy t Rex back with another video and today we're talking about the Dallas Cowboys So if you're not that make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe and turn on post notifications You know that keep that name game strong and sure everybody know, let's get right into it So, the Cowboys just um, released Brett Maher and can I say terrible timing Like really, if they were going to do it, they should have either waited like after this week, I mean, I I guess you don't want to wait after this week. But, like, okay, so today they were at, the team was at a children's hospital. And they were, um, you know, they were with the, they were playing with the children and stuff. And we just released them today. And it's like, that's like poor awareness by the, by the team. Like, you're going to release him while he, he's out doing charity for us. Like, that's. That's poor awareness by our team. But Brett did need to be released. Um, man, I, he he has a strong leg. Brett has a strong leg. It's just his accuracy is terrible. Like, we, we've we seen that Brett has a strong leg. He he's Like I said, he's broken records this year because of how strong his leg is. But, um, yeah, it was time for him to go because he just misses too many easy kicks. He misses too many easy kicks, and that just shows lack of focus. Um, which is, you know, the theme of this team, I guess. But, um, you know, yeah, he misses too many easy kicks. Um, like I say, he has a very strong leg, but his accuracy is terrible. Um, we signed Kai Forbath. I believe he used to play for the Vikings. I think that was his last team before he came to us. Um, but yeah, we signed Kai Forbath. We're gonna see, um, we're gonna see what he could do, obviously. You know, this probably, you know, just, we we tried out a few kickers last week, and he was probably one of them, and he was probably the one we were most impressed with, and to me, it was just Brett Maher, he was, I, would, I was hoping he was going to be, like, a good kicker, I was hoping he was going to get better, first off, because, like I said, he, he has a very strong leg, and if he could just get more accurate, he would be, like, one of the best kickers in the league, like, if he was more accurate, he would be one of the best kickers in the league. But the fact that, you know, during interviews, he was like, um, I feel good. I felt good about my kicks today. Like, this is after he missed one or two on um, against the, who did we last play? Against the freaking freak. Who did we last play? The Bears. Against the Bears. This is after the game against the Bears, after he missed one or two kicks. He was like, I feel good about my kicks. Um, I'm going to go to sleep feeling good about my kicks. Um, I'm not going to change anything. Well, obviously, you have to change something because you've missed 10 field goals this year. That's the most by anybody in four seasons. Like, you have to change something. Something has to change. Like, you can't just not change anything and be like, it's okay. It's not okay. It's not okay. Something has to change, and that's how you're going to get better. But he was basically saying, I'm not going to try to improve, and that's not okay. That's not okay, and that's one of the reasons he's gone right now. Um, but yeah, I just want to say, like, that was very poor awareness by the Cowboys. I wish we did it either right after the game or, like, a day or two after. But, I mean, any day but today. Like, you know, Jerry Jones, Stephen Jones, everybody knows that our team is out right now and we're doing charity for these hospitals and stuff. And so that that's kind of weird like, being there, him being there with the team, and then all of a sudden, hey, you're not with the team anymore, Brett. You can go home. Like, that's kind of weird. Plus, I want Brett to be good because, um, the first Cowboys game, well, not the first Cowboys game I've been to, but the first Cowboys game I've been to in Dallas, um, I got Brett's my autograph. That was pretty cool. And so, and that was, he had a game, that was when he had a game where I guess the Lions last year. And that was pretty cool. So I was hoping he was going to be good because, you know, the autograph could mean something. But now he's, like, gone. And so, you know, he's hit a couple game winners. He's broken a couple records. So, I mean, I guess it means a little bit. But, you know, he didn't really leave a legacy. Now we're just on to the next kicker. And I hope 
Kai for but I just want Kai for ref to be accurate. Like he don't even have to hit the long kicks that Brett Maher makes. Um, I just need him to be accurate. I just want him to be accurate. That's just that's something Brett Maher lacked, and you know a lot of kickers since last year, maybe the year before, have been their fil- their field goal percentage has went down for a lot of kickers. You know the exceptions are probably. Justin Tucker, who's the GOAT, um, Harrison Bucker, who's a beast, and maybe Greg Zerline, um, and Stefan Gajkowski, who's hurt right now for the Patriots. Those are probably the four exceptions of field goal kickers, but everybody else has been struggling. Their field goal percentages are going down. And I don't know what the reason for that is, but maybe maybe they're going on strike saying we need to pay more, get paid more or what, but hey, they Oliver... Our our percentages are going down, but Brett he was a he was a um he was an outlier among like the rest. Like, how are you an outlier when everybody else is bad? That's that's pretty bad. He was an outlier when everybody else was still bad. Like, that's that's terrible. That's terrible. But um, yeah, we released Brett. We played the Rams on Sunday. We gonna see how Kai Forbath do throughout practice this week and the game next week. Um, we gonna see how the Cowboys come out, um, practice this week and during the game next week. Um, hopefully they come out with a different attitude, some more energy. We're gonna see if they're try- actually trying to get to the playoffs or if they're just still, you know, lagging behind. If they're still done. But um, that's it for this video. If you liked it, make sure you. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications, cause you know they keep that night gang strong. Share that right, you know. And I see you for an hour. So, peace. This is for them shotties with them dollars. This is for them shotties that don't need a baller. And we gon' make it to the top, that's on my mama. Money machine counting all this guala. This is